My name is Justine Goble and this is Michael Blatt and we are representing Team 47. Our other members are Spencer Nielsen and Rebecca Powell and our product is called the Cruiser Crutch Foot. Since the crutch's inception 5,000 years ago, the design hasn't really changed. There are specialized crutch, crutch designs, but they are meant for patients with specific, specific disorders like neurological diseases, but they don't really address the problems that we are trying to fix. We want to improve the standard crutch because patients complain about underarm pain and lack of stability. We want to decrease the amount of impact and improve the user's stride. Less impact will cause less underarm pain and an improved stride will allow for a steadier step. We came up with a design that fit the criterion. The cruiser crutch foot has a rockered shape and a compliant design that allows for the absorption of force exerted by the ground, and this will cause less impact to the patient's underarm. Also, the rounded shape and the tread will allow for patients to roll through their step with added grip, and this will allow for more stability. The inspiration for our design is primarily based on the successes of the runner-specific prosthetic leg, abbreviated RSP. The hook design allows for a more organic stride for the user, while the carbon fiber polymer material enables the device to act with shock absorption properties and actually help the user have an easier stride at the end. Our mechanical understanding is based on research. This research was to see if Paralympian runners have an improved, have an ability over able body runners. The results of this research show that this is true. And as can be seen from the plots, we can see that the Paralympian runners experience less impact force in the able body. This helps to prove our hypothesis that a compliant design will allow for less impact to the patient's underarm. To market our device, we have made it compatible and integratable with the traditional crutch body. This allows for the device to be sold as an upgrade accessory and allows for an easy transition into the market. One of the major hurdles for short-term medical devices like crutches is cost. To get around this, we have looked into bulk distribution methods and online retailers such as Amazon in order to limit the expenses. As of right now, we are very excited to announce that we have just completed our first bench phase prototype. The, for, the, for this production, we have 3D printed the design using a material called ABS, which allows us to limit the cost of prototyping without sacrificing integrity. Moving forward with the prototype, we want to use computational modeling and mechanical analysis to help improve on our design as needed, while also verifying our hypotheses. Once that's completed, we would like to begin small sample user testing to collect testimony on how our device performs. Beyond that, we want to make the device compatible with a wide range of patient sizes and weights, ranging from adolescent to overweight adult. With that being said, thank you very much for your time, and thank you to the, everyone at bench to bedside for putting on a great event.